today it's a bit a uh, special day because I have an appointment with a guy who was a big fan of me 40 years, 14 years ago, almost 15 years ago. I find a newspaper article about Kenan and uh, decide to make a surprise to him today. And uh, he will help me to film uh, this event blog about uh, five technical points for crossover. been uh, quite many people to start to watch my vlog and uh, the first question coming was question about crossover technique so I decided today to make a little list from the five most important points to get a good crossover technique The first important point uh, is to put the hip inside the corner. I see many skaters that put the hips outside and actually it's really difficult uh, to be able to uh, keep the right line in the corner. So first tip is keep your, keep your hip inside the corner. The second tip will be to uh, use your body weight and to put, especially put it on your left leg. I know that on the ice, especially on short track, you will see many skaters put the body weight on the right legs, stand on the right leg in the middle of the corner, but for inline skating technique, it's more important to have most of the body weight on the left leg, about 80%, 70% of on the left leg, 20 to 30% on the right leg. The third point that you need to uh, know about uh, crossover con technique is that you need to lean in the corner. And the way you lean in the corner depends of your speed and depends of the grip you get with your wheels. So if you lean too much or not enough, it will put a lot of trouble in your technique. You have to find the right way to lean up to your speed and your grip. The tip number four I can give you about crossover is to really push on the side during the, the crossovers with both legs. You have to push on the side with all the wheels and put the feeling of your push as much as possible on the heel. The last point, which is very important for me also, is that uh, when you move your skates, you have to find the shortest pathway during the crossover. So. Okay, so let's see a few more details about how I cross. The so first thing is I try to find the shortest pathway as possible, when I, especially when my right skate comes back. It has to be not far in front, not high over the other skate. It has to go as close as possible, as close as possible, little in front, little over the wheels. So I pass really, really close to the other wheel. One exercise I do 
most of the time is I skate and I try to hit the back wheels of the right skate with the front wheels of the left skate. I will show you this one later. So I bring my right skate shortest pathway as possible and I land very close to the other one. I don't really want to go a lot inside like this. If you go too much inside like this then your hip will probably turn so it's not so good. Just try to land quite close to the other skate. The other way around when you want to bring back your left leg I don't recommend to land quite close from the other one I really like to go a little more inside of the track it's quite nice to bring it though so you have more distance to push with the left leg remember you put more body weight on the left leg so it's normal to spend more time on the left leg when you cross so when I bring back my left skate I try to land under my hip or little inside under my hip but really not too close to the other one <laughs> 